A former Florida lawmaker revealed that Matt Gates, who's currently facing a DOJ investigation for possible sex trafficking of a minor, also fought to protect revenge porn or anti revenge porn legislation in the state of Florida. So, this former Florida state representative, Tom Goodson, a Republican, described how embattled Representative Matt Gates was the primary opponent of his bill outlawing revenge porn, aka pornographic images of the victim distributed by a former sex partner without consent. When the now US congressman served in the home states or in his home state, House of Representatives. So he's a state lawmaker at the time. There's this proposal to ban revenge porn, and Matt Gates apparently stands in the way. Goodson says Matt was absolutely against it. He thought the picture was his to do with what he wanted. He thought that any picture was his to use as he wanted as an expression of his rights. Who cares about the rights of his partners though, right? Um, and so look, it, it certainly doesn't surprise me considering some of the accusations against Matt Gates recently and um, some of the behavior that he apparently openly uh, engaged in making other members of Congress and, and, and congressional staffers uncomfortable. Uh, but you know, Matt Gates refuses to step down, uh, Ryan, and uh, claims that everything that he did was legal, that he didn't do anything wrong. And he's a, he's a changed man now, he's engaged. So everyone get off his back. <laughs> well, I, he wouldn't even have to claim to have been a, a changed man, I don't think. I, you know, the only way to, to me that he, uh, is going to leave Congress is either in handcuffs or with or with some lavish uh, deal at at some at some network, uh, uh, Newsmax or or whatever, where he feels like it's a better place for him. I don't think any of these allegations do him uh, much, if any, political harm in the panhandle because that's what we need to remember. He doesn't just represent Florida, and no offense to Florida, he represents the panhandle of of Florida. You know the. I I forget who said it. Somebody said that you know people in Florida talk about the Panhandle the way that people outside of Florida talk about Florida. <laughs> so there there really isn't none of this behavior, even if even if proved, would would lead to him declining in his in poll numbers in 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 his district. You know he he represents he represents that district and he and he represents it well if anything it's it could it could help him because now he's you know tangling with the with the new york times there was i forget what what voter was it was quoted maybe in cnn saying like look i don't believe these anonymous sources in in the new york times you know he's copped to a decent amount of this. A lot of it is not anonymous sources. You know, these are you know some of these are lawmakers who are who are on the record. You just read the name of the guy who was who was saying this, but there there really hasn't emerged anything that even if proven, even 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 the uh, uh, trafficking a seventeen year old, I don't think would uh, do him much significant political damage in 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 that congressional district. Wow, really? I don't I mean, think it, I don't, would be I don't think it would criminal. But and I don't it, know, like, right? And what so if he got if he got charged if he got charged and convicted and marched out of there, okay, that at the, at that point, yes. But uh, but short of that, I I see most voters um, most voters sticking with him. Are we sure that that toxic wastewater uh, didn't already flood the homes uh, in Florida? Like what really? Like oh, we are trafficking we're a minor. Not. We're definitely we're definitely not not sure of that. Uh, I mean, wow. this it this is you know this is this is a pan this is a panhandle of Florida. Um, uh, you know the, he had been you know he had been publicly talking about you know publicly or like you know at least not trying to hide it. Um, you know his his predilections for very young women. Uh, you know, for for a very long time, around lots of other uh, adults, and it, it had never hurt, if it never hurt him before. Uh, and so, uh, you know, we'll we'll see. I would love to be proved. I would love to be proven wrong, but I'm 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 not hopeful. You know, one thing that's also fascinating is to see how um, 
Trump has not come to his defense and Trump aides certainly have not come to Matt Gates's defense. And Politico did address that. And apparently one Trump confidant said the reason you haven't seen people in MAGA world defending Gates is less about him being unpopular, which he is in a lot of circles, and more about the fact that he hasn't done a single thing to make people comfortable to defend him. I don't even really know what that means. I, I, I think, I, think I, I think I know what it means. I, I think what they mean is they don't have any idea what's coming next. Mm. And so if they could be given some type of certainty that what you've heard at this point is is going to be it. There's there's not going to be any more allegations or revelations or any more people coming forward. Then they might say, okay, you know what? Uh, we'll we'll stand up for this guy. But his his behavior throughout his adult life. Uh, and probably his teen life uh, has not given anybody uh, any confidence that that th- this is anything other than the tip of the iceberg, and that there's going to be more and more and more. And so that that's why you know I would I would caveat what I said earlier that that's why I said you know if this if this is all that emerges you know it, it's certainly possible that 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 more could come out and people get to a point where they just feel embarrassed and they feel like they don't. And and they start to feel self conscious about being you know panhandle residents and saying that this is okay. We, you know we like to party, but this is this is not who we are. This is this is this is making us look re- ridiculous and awful and unethical. And so uh, no, so now now he has to go. Now he's humiliated us to a point where people are uh, you know people are you know openly comparing us to Alabama and and that's you know you don't, you don't want people you know people in the panhandle don't don't want that. And so uh, you know that is. That's that's the step that I think could really cost him. And I think that that's what that Trump person is saying, that they have no confidence that there aren't more shoes dropping, you know, day after day after day. And you know, some of the people in Trump's world certainly didn't like Matt Gates. One aide said, not a lot of people are surprised. And an ex Trump staffer even said, anyone that has ever spent 10 minutes with the guy would realize he's an unserious person. I mean, that, that's a lot coming from anyone associated with Donald Trump. It's just, it's pretty hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. And considering the fact that Matt Gates was willing to to step down from Congress in order to, uh, you know, work for Trump or to work to defend Trump um, tells you everything you need to know. Uh, like there are no winners here. Gates is awful, but don't get it twisted. Trump, his aides, his staffers, they're pretty awful as well. Uh, there's no loyalty to anyone, regardless of what um, you know someone would be willing to do on behalf of Donald Trump. And it's just, it's great to see it. I'm here for it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.